In this lesson, we're going to add a contact form. So you want to click on add on. You can either click from here or you can click on this section here, the new add on. So you have, you know, different options. So just click contact form. And contact forms are great because this is a way for people to contact you on your website. And they have a really basic capture that you can add here. You can put whatever number, you know, three plus four equals or whatever number that you want to put. But just make sure that you put the right answer. Uh, if you want to use custom buttons, you can activate that. And you go over to the style. Make sure you add your top, your, your labels. So contact us so people can. And another thing to remember is that by default, you have this contact uh, email at your domain.com. So if you don't change this and you forget uh, and publish this on your site, when someone contact you, you're not going to get that information because it's not going to your right domain. So make sure that where it says recipient email, you are the recipient. Make sure to change your email. So now that we want to use custom buttons here, we can customize the message. So instead of just saying send message, let's put in contact us now. And then for the button style, you can choose once again the uppercase, lowercase, lightweight. So let's make this one normal weight. And for the letter spacing, we're going to put this one in two pixels. And for the button style, do you want it to be success info? So we'll leave this one to success. You can come back and change that later on. Uh, for the button appearance, you have flat, you have outline, uh, and you have 3D. We're going to go more in details later on when we add, uh, do the button add-on. And for the size, you have standard, large, extra large, small, extra small. So I'm just going to lift that at the standard. Uh, I want to put an icon. I'm just going to grab this icon for now. And another thing that they incorporated with the new uh, 2.0 is that you can choose the section or the position that the icon shows. Uh, before, the icon just shows on the left side. So if you wanted to put the icon on the right side, you, you, know, you couldn't do that. But now... You can choose to put the icon on the left side or the right side of the button. So you go with to style. If you wanted to have different colors, you can change the colors. If you wanted to have a different link ho hover uh, for the borders and the radius for the margins. Now the margins is going to give us space uh, for the pattern is going to add, you know, a little bit more pattern in that particular module. So animation, yes or no, just click on apply and let's click on save. So let's preview this on the front end. So this is what you have. This is the button that we just created. You couldn't do this before with the 1.4 version. You know, you couldn't do this. And now when people want to contact you, they can, you know, put in their name, their email, and they can answer this capture. So let's say I put in something here, my email, and then just put in like a fake subject. And in the capture, we said three plus four equals seven. Well, what happens if I type in a different number here? and I put in message, it's gonna say wrong answer, please enter right answer. And it's referring to this here because, you know, at the first we know that three plus four doesn't equal seven. Uh, maybe, you know, at your um, school it does, but uh, three plus four equals seven and not five. So people can contact you directly on there and you can also edit this on the front end uh, of this as well. You come through the letter spacing so the front end design um, editing part of it is really, really great because now you don't have to come to the back end for you to edit this. Uh, one of the only things that you can't do on the front end is you can't add additional pages on the front end. You can add roles, you can edit everything you see on that page, but I'm sure that you're gonna, you know, they're working on something where you can add additional pages. So this to contact us, you have a lot of control, a lot of flexibility uh, for people to be able to contact you.